God bless you beautiful people on YouTube and on Facebook. Blessings to your family this morning. Blessings that you uh, slept and slumbered last night. And God's grace and mercy woke you up this morning. What a blessing it is. We thank God for this morning uh, for waking us up in our right mind. Hey, well, listen, today a lot of people have been asking me a lot of questions about communion and should they take communion and what is the Bible saying about communion? Well, we're going to do communion right there this morning. I'm going to show you. Here's my glass. Wine. You can see this is wine. You can see. Okay. As you see. Pouring a little wine. Very little wine. I'm going to say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for Jesus Christ, your son that died for the body that sacrificed for our sins, that take, took the whips, that take, took the beatings, and also the blood that he shed is for us. And we thank you right now, God. God, continue to help me in my life like you have done, that when I partake of this bread for my body and the wine for your blood, that means that I believe in you and that I'm sold and bought to serve you until I die. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I take my communion, drink a little wine. Now to answer your question, you have to be very careful about taking communion when you're still doing worthy things. Let me say that again. You have to be careful about taking communion when you have an exam yourself, and if you're doing the same thing when you leave that church and and doing the same thing, you have just cursed yourself. And, it's, and we have to be so careful because in churches, you can get very sick, ill by doing this and playing around. This is symbolic. This is something that God really honors this communion. And you should not just be doing it when you know that you're not right with God. Let me give you an example. After service, y'all see this? I got to roll me one. As a matter of fact, I got to take a bag of this to what you call when I leave. See that? That's cocaine. See it? You see it? I'm going and party with this afterwards. I'm going to do my thing. I got a big party I'm going to go to. Now, let me read this about debauchery. Let me read this in your hearing, what it say. Extreme indulgence in body pleasures, especially sexual pleasures, behavior involving sex, drugs, and alcohol. There we go. Et cetera, et cetera. That is often considered immortal. He had, he was glad when others joined them, men and women, talking about an orgy, and they had more drinks and spent the night in wild riot rioting and debauchery. If I take this alcohol and drink this until I'm drunk, hey, hey, I'm, I'm Pastor Diggins. Hey, you want roll one? I got some Swissers, Swissers Silvers. Now, don't that look crazy as me being a pastor? So that's how you look when you leave the church on Sunday and you just did communion. Now, let me read it to give you scriptures because you're looking at me funny. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 27 and 29 reads, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread, and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. You don't want to be there. But let the man, let a man examine himself. You need to examine yourself. Don't let nobody be taking you up to no communion and you're not understanding what you're doing. That's why a lot of churches people start, oh, did you hear Marlene is sick? Oh, she's sick? What happened to her? I don't know. She just got caught catching the flu or something. 
Oh, did you hear about George? He's sick too here. And it starts spreading. We have to be careful, leaders, about letting anybody take communion. You've got to definitely address that you're cursing yourself when you do the communion and you're not really a believer Christian. Taking the communion and still blunting it up. Come on. You still blunting it up. You still is selling cocaine, but you taking communion. You still doing this? Excuse me. Get that cracker on my mouth. We have to be so careful. It said, Where, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat the bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthy shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and eateth and drunketh, watch this, damnation to themselves, not concerning the Lord's body. So that should answer your question. You cannot be doing communion and you're still worldly. You still party. You still rowdy. You still, you still see the Bible talk. Well, the Bible, Jesus made wine, but, but Jesus didn't have nothing to do with you getting drunk. See, now that's why I want to piggyback off the story about how Lot was not a Christian man because this is what he talking about. Debauchery is what he did. Having sex with his daughter. That's an orgy. Christian men don't have sex with orgies. So Christian men, Christian women don't go buy bags of weed and, 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 and selling drugs, doing drugs, partying, wild. This is why you have to be so careful. And drinking, when you get drunk, you have sin. Come on, somebody. God said, whatever you do, have a sober mind. That's scripture. Be balanced. I was telling somebody, I said, you alcohol. They said, no, they're not. I said, yeah, you alcohol. They said, no, they're not. I said, yeah, you alcohol. They said, no, you, no, no, they're not. They said, how am I alcohol? I said, well, let me give you an example. Take a man that buy him a six-pack of beer and a fifth of Martell, and he drank two shots and drank five beers, and he'd be 15 minutes early at his job the next morning. You drink this, and they can't find you for two days. You no call, no show on your job. You got some serious issues going on. Do that make sense? Now I know that. Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with weed. Hey, it's not. It, hey, God made weed. It's just how you do it now. It's just how people is doing it now. They putting everything in it. But I'm not here to to discern whether weed is good for you or not. If you're a Christian, you should not be doing none of this. Just being honest. Because if you're doing that with people that's trying to be Christian, you just contaminated people that's watching you. If you blend it up, especially out in the open. Now, what you do secret, that's your business in God. I'm not applauding either way. Because what, what uh, dirty in the wash come out in the wrench, if that makes sense. So be careful when you're doing communion. I wanted to go a little deeper, but I had so many people asking about communion. And I see people doing communion all the time. So you just have to be careful because you can curse your body and make your body ill. I feel even better since I did communion. My God. Just to let my audience know, this is Italian season. It's not real weed. And this is just flour. Just to let everybody know this is not real stuff. Listen, make sure that you know what you're doing. Make sure that nobody bamboos of you in churches and have you doing things that you don't understand. You got to be careful. That's symbolic, the bread and the blood, the wine that Jesus uh, had us do at the Passover. So we have to be so careful. Do that make sense? Well, I didn't give you what I wanted to give you today, but I gave you what God told me to give you, and that makes me right. Is that all right? I wanted to get on here and shout and laugh and have a good time with you, but we have to understand this Bible is serious and what you do is serious. 
You cannot look like the world and taking communion also. And all the people sitting in there watching you know that you're a drug dealer, you're a liar, you're a manipulator, uh, uh, you're putting too many kids down on your income tax, don't like the pastor, got beef in there to church with people, and you're taking the communion. Come on, you're going home and drink, don't, uh, drink enough to get drunk. Come on, we can't do that because baby saints are watching us. Isn't that good news? Well, I love you all. Be good out there. Remember, if you see a problem, fix a problem. I love you all. Be blessed.